customer called me today and said she needed help with her floor tile. As the story goes, she hired a contractor to remove and replace some broken floor tiles. He showed up, removed six of them, and guess what? Never came back. That was weeks ago. This is a perfect project to put my new roto razor saw to the test. As you can see, some of the good tiles are chipped on the edges and I can only guess, but maybe this is why he didn't come back. When doing a repair like this, it's always best to remove the grout between the good and the bad tiles. If you don't, you can easily break or chip the tile beside it, just like this. This is a great plunge saw and it comes with three blades, an all-purpose blade, a carbide tooth finishing blade, and believe it or not, a tile blade, which I already have installed in the saw for this job. I'm only cutting through the grout lines to separate the good tile from the bad ones. And the great thing about this saw is it allows me to set the depth to the thickness of the grout, which is only 3 8 of an inch. The Roto Razor saw with the diamond blade installed performed exactly as I wanted it to, and the job turned out perfect. Check my link to get $40 off the price of the saw.